Chicago. Well, we're actually in Rosemont. I'm about to get on a train, as you can see, because we're going to Lollapalooza. So this is the Chicago portion of the Midwest cities thing, because Chicago is like one of the Midwest's shining beacons of like a metropolitan area. So I don't even know if you can hear me. So. So we're here at Lollapalooza in Grant Park in Chicago. So it's right downtown, as you can see. There's the downtown and such. And yeah, we just got to the grounds, getting a bandana and whatnot. So that's what's happening. <laughs> mentioned that this song is called Annie so I'm basically famous um, in so big deal <laughs> But basically, we just got out of Vampire Weekend. It was, um, I mean, life-changing is dramatic, but also it's not. So it was one, it was probably one of the best concerts I've been to. Right now, I'm going to say it's the best concert I've been to, but I'm fresh out, so that might change. But the thing that I like so much about it is because, like, they haven't come out with new music in five years. So, like, 
the only people who were there were people who really cared and like really knew their music so like everyone around us whoops everyone around us was like knew all the words and they were like dancing like straight up dancing it wasn't like a crappy like sweaty rap concert or just like the weekend or bruno mars where like everyone's gonna go there it was like a close-knit family and everyone was having what do you think the first song is gonna be what yeah do you think they're gonna close with it yeah are they gonna do an encore will they play this song like oh my gosh like they love seinfeld like it was just like it seriously felt like a little cool like a, a small venue but there was a ton of people there but they were all there truly for vampire weekend oh it was, it was fantastic and to top it all off the boy next to me was so cute and nice and he knew all the words so i was pretending like we were dating <laughs> if you're watching this hit me up <laughs> okay bye so wow now that we're sitting and out of the crowd, I'll give you a little bit more of an update. Would you share a smoothie with me? I really don't remember the last time I talked to you, but we went to, I think it was after, oh man, I'm sunburned, like, badly. I even wore sunscreen. Something's bad. Anyway, this headband has got to go. I'm sweating. <laughs> the worst burn I've had in years. <laughs> anyway, we went to, I think I talked to, I think we had just, I don't remember when I last updated the vlog, but we started at Lovely the Band, they were good, and then we went to, we went to a little bit of Wallows, yeah, a song and a half of them. The song we wanted to see, we saw, so that was good. And then we went to Water. Then we went to Sir Sly, and that was like, that was Great so time. good. That was shit. Water. It was dope. It was dope. I can't get over my sunburn. It was such a good show. Um, they were very high energy, very intense. I know, but this is worse. I'm just like upset. It makes my neck things look even worse. Anyway, Sir Sly was good. Then we went to Arizona. Was that next? Arizona. They're okay. If you if you know like all their songs and you know them well, it probably would have been fun. But like, I just like vaguely listen to them every once in a while, so it was kind of boring. Oh, Dea or Dua or whatever. Dea, she's the lady who sings. I need ya, I need ya, I need you right now. That one. I need you. I need you right now. And she also sings like. I don't know the words to it. It's like, um, and then we saw Catfish and the Bottle Men. They were good. I mean, we were kind of tired at that. That's when we were like resting a little bit. So we were like sitting down for them. So it wasn't like we were in the throng of the crowds for that show, but like it, the crowd looked fun. And again, if you knew all their songs, it probably would have been really fun. But like, I just listened to them casually. So I didn't know all the words of their songs, but they were very impressive.